Welcome everybody. Today I want to show you how to generate artificially neural networks with uh, the neural network generator Neugen 2. And for that you just open up the program, then you go to File, select New Project, then you make a decision between either Neocortex or Hippocampus. We use for now the Neocortex project, then you click Next. Specify the project name like New Cortex Tutorial 1 and basically you are done now and you issue finish. Then you need to or you can adjust some network parameters which for now you don't need to adjust. But um, in another tutorial I will show you what's the effect of um, source parameters. and. Um, so you made now the basic setup of the um, network and then you have here a param section which um, is abbreviated for um, parameter and you can adjust here the number of cells um, in the network. So you have the um, layer 2-3 pyramidal cells and the stellate cells in layer 4, layer 5 um, A pyramidal, layer 5 um, B pyramidal and also you have the N star pyramidal cells. So we leave those values um, also um, and you may adjust it by your needs. Also you have a region parameter where you can make adjustments to the column dimensions um, but we should also be fine with the default values here and also you can make um, specific adjustments for the um, axon dendrites and so on and um, also for the synapses I think here yeah exactly you have also the synapses um, right below the soma perfect so then if you want to create a network just push the start button and you see also we have here the nice um, tooltip for all the buttons. So um, if the network was created it reports it at the very end and also what is the memory um, footprint of the network generation and you may adjust um, the memory which is available to Neugen by um, some parameters which I will introduce in the third tutorial of Neugen. So if you want to work with that network later on either in Neuron or in another simulator you want to visualize the network which you can do quite nicely here with different visualization options and we are fine with the preset for now and then we can visualize it within Neugen and you can also see that we have here the nice layers layer 4, layer, layer 5a, layer 5b and so on and here's a scale bar and you can also zoom a bit in or out and what could be also of interest is that you can validate um, the network Sad to say is you can visualize the densities, for instance, for the synapses and therefore you can choose here the density part which should be visualized and also a voxel length in which densities are to be calculated um, because this needs to be discretized. So we are also fine with set values but you can um, depending on your wishes um, choose different um, types of visualizations and also colors but we are fine with the preset again and on the right hand side here pops up another panel and you can see um, the density visualization of that network in the left. Um, Please note, um, because we have a rather small network now, we have a few synapses. So, um, therefore you cannot see much um, on the right hand side. But we could, um, for instance now, 
save the project. Here, and we could make more pyramidal and stellate cells, and also maybe some from the st star pyramidal cells, and generate another network. This will take a bit longer, as indicated by the progress bar in the bottom right corner. So then you proceed in the same manner, visualize the network. Then you can validate the network also. We use the preset again. And we see that we have a more um, interconnected network. So if you want to um, use the network later on or work on it, you can just um, save it here. Then you are uh, fine and it's saved in the project location you specified initially and um, when we created the project. And also what we can do is we can export the data for instance to the um, hop format from, for the neuron simulator. Then you can simulate the biophysics of that network or to the well-known NeuroML XML based file format or also to some um, formats which we use in our UG4 um, PDE solver simulation framework um, which is based on the TXT format or a derived XML based format. So for instance we could save it to um, HOC format, then you specify a name for the export and we will term it new cortex tutorial Oh, one and push the save button. It warns that we have uh, already saved uh, that network with that name, but um, you can override that. And for the biophysics, you need to or you can specify additional um, names, but um, Neugen infers um, the, uh, the names um, by itself. If you don't specify that, then you can push save and you can see it's working and it's exporting the new Cortex project. And if you then open up the shell and navigate to the um, directory then you see that you have um, Save the project as new cortex tutorial here. Uh, oh, sorry, that way. So you have here now the the whole thing also with the synapses. Okay, that was all I want to show you today, and um, stay tuned for the next tutorials. Bye.